Today I'd like to continue where we left off last week and create a bill of materials and line art from illustration. Before we begin, let's use the new feature in Composer to help us create uniform callouts. I'm going to put that at two characters so all of my balloons will be the same size and I can do this in the default document properties or on each individual property. So also note the uh, assembly tree structure. This is a very simple assembly with only two groups in the root. One group happens to be hidden. So I'm going to open up my bill of materials module here now and we'll define our bill of materials based on a couple different things. First I'm going to go all parts at the base level and create some bill material IDs. And If we look at the tree structure it makes a bill material based on all the individual parts. I'm just going to reset that real quick and instead of parent level 0 I'm going to go up to the top level which is three levels up and create them again and we see that it only took in the um, root assembly names. Reset that. I can base this on different things too. I'll go back to maybe meta properties. So if each part has a meta property that comes from your CAD system or your PLM, you can have that put in there too as well. So if I select this object, we can see that it's a vendor part description and their part number. And now I'm just going to reset that once more and change it back to zero and the, the actual part name. And I also want to change this up to uh, visible parts only. And we'll create some new material IDs or do, new bill material IDs and we see the bill material tree reflects, reflects that. I can also generate these different ways, skipping characters, one call up for instance, etc. If I want to index these, I can add a prefix or suffix, maybe make some uh, alphabetic and numeric callouts, etc. So I'm just going to select these real quick and then create my callouts. Now by default, the callouts are going to be on the top and bottom, but you see they're nice and uniform, the balloon size. And I can uh, make those maybe circular, or I can jump over to uh, top and bottom, or left and right, rectangular, etc. I'll leave those parametric for now. And then I can go up, and if I, if I don't necessarily want the circles, etc., I can use a style to make my callouts any way I want. In this case, I'm going to call it a plain callout. And this is a style I created that has no... Um, circles or shapes on it. Now if these are the way I want them and ready to go, I could still manipulate those around, move them by hand a little bit if I want. And after I get my callouts done, what I want to do is, is actually save that, update my view here after I get it the way I want. We'll update the view. And now I'm going to go over to my technical illustration module. And I'm just going to pull this down a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. And also helps if it's larger when creating it. Now I can, I've made my own profile here based on how I want my shadow wisp, my line weights, exterior and interior lines, etc. I can also have some other options here if it's I want to do some color regions, etc. Um, generate hot spots for links, but we'll cover that in another uh, episode. I'll just make a quick preview here and when the line arts gets created I can take a look at that and we should have a fairly nice illustration. Then I can go back, let's take a look at the illustration, it's got the part names in there, everything's associated, some nice line weights, my callouts are where I want them, etc. And I can go back and save that as an SVG. I can also do CGM or uh, Postscript, Tech Illustrator documents, etc. We'll just save that as an SVG and replace it over my existing one. I hope this helps. Good luck.